we have seen the old city now. We've come from the old city, and you can see the walls of the old city here. And most people have the misconception that this is where David, 3,000 years ago, built his city. But it's not true. I'm sure it's not true. No, it's not true. David came here 3,000 years ago from Hebron, and he occupied a place that we're about to visit called the City of David. Of course, he purchased the land where the house was built that his son, Solomon, built. But the City of David is right here, and we're going to go in and take a look at the things that we still have after 3,000 years. The house that you refer to is a temple, correct? Absolutely. I've shown them we're looking here to the south. And from this view, we can see it looks almost like a peninsula here, like a little finger of land. This is what's known as the City of David. King David wrote in his Psalms, let us go up to the city of the Lord. And if you look, we're down a little bit below in the Ophel. We have to go up to get to the city of the Lord. This is what he had in mind. The piece of ground that Kathleen King, one of the first ones in the 20th century that, that did the archaeological digs here, this is where she dug. Except this is all the loose dirt has been pulled away and this is what's been left from 3,000 years. What they found is the, the, the years from the time of David that all of this was preserved. You can't live anywhere without water. The place that makes brings life to all of this whole area for almost 2,500 years. They wouldn't have these springs to take water from. They wouldn't have been able to live here. Here we are at the entrance to Warren Shaft, the Hezekiah's Tunnel. This is the water source also? Yes, down at the bottom here. These are all pictures from the dig that they did here at the city of David. city of David and the seals that were found with different kind of inscriptions on them. Many of them had inscriptions that testified to the fact that these pots belonged to the, family, the royal family, the king. This is original. All the stones here were put this way so that enemies attacking the city couldn't see the source of the water where the water came from. That's why it's all covered up with stones. This is original. This is how they found this. Now, Charles Warren, who came to dig here in the 1800s, a very famous man. He was in charge of Scotland Yard during the period of Jack the Ripper. Look at this on the wall. This is where they would have cut a place in the wall to put a candle as they were working so they'd have light here in this darkness. Now that we have descended hundreds of feet through Warren's shaft, we're about to enter into the Gihon Springs. Now look at the... This is built during the second temple period time so that enemies wouldn't see the source of the springs that are attacked from the outside. Let's go into the tunnel here. That beautiful sound of the rushing water. Oh, you can hear the water. Wow. This is the place that the water from the Gihon Spring comes out of the ground, gushes out of the ground. Look here. Comes right in here. This is the water. This is where the ancient city of Jerusalem got its water supply. From right here. This is where David got his water. This is where the Jebusites and the Canaanites before David got their water from right here. And there's a there's a, a, a tower from the Canaanite period before David was here that protects this site just in the other room next to us. But what I want to tell you is that later on, 700 years before the Common Era, in the time of Hezekiah, King Hezekiah, 2,700 years ago, 2,700 years ago, he built a tunnel because he didn't want this water source to be accessible to his enemies. So he built this room to, to hide the entrance to the, to the uh, springs. So he made a tunnel on top of this and hid the springs and he sent two sets of workmen working in two directions, one from here and one from the other side of the mountain and they work, both work in the same, in opposite directions until they started to hear the sounds of each other's axe through the stone and they started screaming to each other, here I can hear you, I can hear you and they met and there's only an, about five, uh, five or six inch difference exactly where they met the two tunnels, one from the other. They didn't know anything about how to get from one to the other. And there is, they found a, a, a stone written in ancient Hebrew 
talking about the fact that the tunnel was built by Hezekiah and the two sets of workmen that hurt each other. And, the, and that stone rests now in the Istanbul Museum. And this is the beginning of the tunnel from the Gijon Springs in the direction of the Shilom Pool. <sighs> what a day. Wow. We have shown them. We've seen the very birth, the very beginning of the holy city of Jerusalem. We just did the year David, the city of David. This is where it all started. There's not any more further back than this. And we saw the water source. It's amazing. Really beautiful, huh?